Hi, I'm Dave Troll with the Troll Gallery. I'm going to talk to you today about bench saw safety. Bench saw, table saws, cabinet saws, the safety aspects are all the same. There's a few things we can talk about. One of the first things that come to mind when I talk uh, saw safety is the guards. The guards that come with saws today are simple to put on, they work well, and very rarely, if ever, should they ever come off. I have a problem with my saw. It's actually older than I am. The saw was made uh, about 50 years ago. Back then, they didn't have all the guards that we have now. Uh, so I actually have to work a little bit harder and think when I'm working around my saw. Um, many of the saws that I've worked with recently do have all the safety equipment with them. And I strongly encourage, especially the blade guard, the splitters in the back, the anti-kickback fingers, they're all there for a reason. They work great. Put them on and keep them on. The next thing, uh, and again, one of the more obvious things, whenever you're working with uh, a table saw or a bench saw, are your safety glasses and your hearing protection. Saws throw up a lot of dust and chips. You want to cover your eyes, keep them well protected. Um, they're not always the loudest machine in the shop, but over time, the, the sound that they make will cause hearing damage. You want to protect your hearing as well. One of the other things that I keep handy with my saw is a push stick. Um, there are several times when the blade, uh, when I'm working with, say, my rip fence, and I need to make a small cut, once I get inside my, uh, the zone of kind of a danger zone of, you know, I don't want my fingers getting too close to the blade, I reach for my push stick before I make my cut. I have it handy throughout the cut. So once I get towards that blade, uh, I can use the push stick instead of my fingers, keeping my fingers well away from the blade. Uh, one thing I'm really quite proud of is I've been doing this professionally for 20 years and I can still count to 10. Um, so the, the other thing you want to keep in mind, besides all the, the guards and the fixtures and the add-ons, is you always have to pay attention. If you're tired, walk away from the tool. Um, if your blade is dull, sharpen it or replace it. Dull blades cause kickbacks. Um, much faster than you can you would imagine. The other thing to keep in mind with your blades is if you have a choice between a steel blade and a carbide tip blade, go for the carbide tip blade. It's going to stay sharper longer. And again, those sharper blades are going to give you nice clean cuts. They're going to prevent kickback and it's going to be an all around safer tool to work with. So those are some tips on bench saw safety. I'm Dave Troll with the Troll Gallery, the fine art of furniture making.